Well, hello and welcome, guys, to my first Napoleon Total War online battle video. And I thought I'd just start off by showing you a little clip of the cannons firing. This battle did go on for about 20 minutes, so I've cut off the first little bit, but I'll explain what happened and what you've missed. But at the moment, you're currently watching the Hungarian Hussars attack my 42nd foot Black Watch Regiment, and then they, uh, they managed to get into my. Uh, Obviously I'll say right now, bear in mind, I've only been playing this game for a couple of days and I still haven't sorted out my tactics properly. Oh, that square, it's just... I, I've got to say, I love the animations and the graphics that they've changed for um, Napoleon. I think it looks amazing. I like this little box thing up here, but I might like to get rid of it for some of my replays cinematics, that's not going to be good. Anyway, I'll go over my army, I'm playing as a British obviously, I had to start off with the playing as a British. On the pyramids map I've got two units of foot and then four units of King's German Legion foot. There they are. And then I've got uh, two units of King's German Legion light foot and two units of just normal regular light foot. Um, also I've yes, cut off the beginning of this because it took about 20 minutes for us to really do anything at the beginning. Um, and I lost my cavalry in a lovely engagement over here. I had two units of dragoons and one unit of, uh, of the 15th uh, hussars. So at the moment, my black watch are um, firing off. I sent my elites up here because the opponent I was playing against had some experimental howitzers, and they were basically, as you saw, owning my men. My howitzers can now fire on his, and the, again, the graphical animation for the. Uh, Explosions, the howitzers are amazing. This, game, uh, this unit of Lightfoot kind of was fatigued, and also the pathfinding screwed up a little bit. There's one or two little glitches and stuff I've noticed, but nothing game killing, and overall, it's a fantastic experience. Um, already managed to fix uh, a couple of the crashes I was getting. I got one or two uh, opponents at war stop responding, so if you guys are getting a lot of those, let me know and I'll find out the link that I found for the fix and I'll do a video about it. So I pulled my general up here, a risky decision, some of you guys will probably say, because obviously you don't want to get shot to pieces, but basically the uh, Black Watch and the Coldstream guards had already basically been annihilated, so I brought up the general to try and buffer the 42nd. They've now fallen back, but they have taken out quite a lot of the Hungarian engineers. Plus these unit, the Jaeger units here, and they did manage to take out the cannons, which was the main point of their advance, even if I had to sacrifice them. So my um, howitzers are here, they're five, two units of 5 inch howitzers. I probably will be using artillery in uh, Napoleon, I with my Empire videos I didn't really play with artillery that much, because I didn't, like, uh, didn't really like artillery, but it's a lot more useful in Napoleon, or it's more commonly used, and I thought I'd better give it a try. Anyway, so I'm playing against an Austrian opponent, which you've gathered by now, but I'll go over what he's got. He's got a unit of Carissers there, and he had two units of Hungarian Hussars over there, which um, did get repelled by my uh, Coldstream Guards. He's then got a unit of Lenstuzum, whatever they are, uh, however you pronounce them. Uh, they're the light infantry, I guess, or the. Yeah. Um, got a seven pounder howitzer. How's that? I think I said inch, didn't I, over to those? I said, I think I said five inch. Oh, they are five inch houses. These are five pounder houses. Okay, fair enough. Uh, they've got the 42nd, 40, 47th Czech Le uh, Regiment, even. Uh, Hungarian Fusiliers here. And uh, German Fusiliers. They've also got some Hungarian Fusiliers here there as backers, uh, I guess, reinforcements or whatever. He's got the general staff over on this flank because that's where I'm putting the most of my effort in. He's up there to give them a bit of a buffer. He's got a uh, 12-pounder um, artillery here, which has caused me a bit, a bit of grief, but not much. I've now managed to bring up my uh, units of foot line infantry, having some good shooting practice along here. If you guys are wondering what my settings are for this game, basically it's ultra. I've got four times uh, jellicing. And yeah, apart from that, everything's basically maxed out that I can have. And at the moment, I'm getting around about 22 FPS when I zoom right in. Back to recording, mind you, though. Normally, it's uh, 
take around about 30, 40, and then come zoomed right out about 50, 60 for watching battles. So anyway, on my left flank here, I've pulled up the light foot and King's Legion light foot to actually attack these guys, but I don't think they were in range yet, so they weren't. They were, some were reloading anyway. Um, moving up my units of line infantry here to try and create a flank over here, and also bringing them over to so I can form them in square should the Carousiers attack me. Obviously I'll be really open to all suggestions and battle tactics, but try to be kind of <laughs> non-abusive in your comments like, oh, he's a new player. This isn't my best battle, but I'm hoping that I'll get better in the next couple of days and then following weeks. Anyway, so I've got my light foot up, positioned up on this uh, hill here, and I've managed to basically crush the majority of what's going on with his right flank, and I brought up the rest of my line infantry, which... Um, Done a good job here, sort of flank around the unit here. But the general is now retreating behind his men, obviously trying to bolster his ranks. I find that a lot of the time generals, I actually find them quite useful, although I generally just go for the normal general staff. I don't bother splashing out for Wellington or anything like that. I've also decided to pack up my howitzers and move them closer so I can do a bit more damage. And over here we can see the Cortez have charged in, but I've managed to form my men in squares. They have attacked the Flank with my right foot, but obviously they've managed to kill a couple of, a couple of men. The squares have formed in time. Now I've gone for light foot over sharp over rifles. I need to call them sharps rifles. I probably will end up calling them sharps rifles because they're the nice green jackets. The, uh, the but, um, um, I, I played around with the rifles and I actually find that light infantry tend to be better. The skirmishes in this game are really good. But I probably will end up putting a couple of units in a build if anyone can suggest one that they find that's actually useful with them in. But generally I find the light foot are uh, just as good once they get in close. General there rallying his troop down there. And then sending in a hailstorm of bullets. Uh, to begin with I was kind of like, oh I missed the fire by rank effects. But actually when these guys get firing down the line the again with the new animations. The effects, I think it looks just as good if not better. And I've got to say, I don't know how this will come out, well I will know how this will come out, but once I've rendered it and everything. But crap seems to run a lot smoother, even though the FPS is still the same, roughly as Empire. Everything seems to be a lot smoother than when I used to do this in um, Empire. And I've generally found gameplay is a lot smoother, but then again, it's because Napoleon is optimised for uh, lower end systems and then streamlined for higher end systems that can afford to run it. Anyway, yeah, my King's German Legion light foot here, firing off some rounds into the uh, 47 Czech regiment. Going through this here, and obviously I should have moved these guys on top of the hill, but <laughs> the double double-edged sword here, they're not killing my men. I'm not killing them. I'm doing some damage over here though. Should be. On top, but I was probably focusing on different flanks at the time. I think I was actually focusing on this flank. These guys, uh, yeah, the half line screwed up. I told them to reform a little bit further to the left, and they went off to the right. So, uh, because of that, not them were out. I love it. <laughs> Canister shot just firing straight up and over the hill. Brilliant. Anyway, so my howitzers are in position now, and they're about to fire. I'll show these guys. that go and explode. It just looks sweet. So you can expect plenty of cinematics um, with Napoleon because I'm already really enjoying the graphics and everything else to do with this game. I'm just going to speed up a tad because I think I might have spent uh, a little bit longer than I thought I would with this battle. It was quite a long one because it was a bit of a stalema stalemate to begin with at the beginning. Neither of us wanted to move forward because of the artillery factor, but in the end I uh, took the bullet, as it were, and went in first. I lost my elite I I infantry because of that, the, the Black Watch and the Coldstream Guard, but in the end it was worth it to get the advantage of uh, punching a big hole in his right flank. Again, it wasn't too hard because he'd focused on artillery and less on extra line infantry units. So here I am moving units my units here. Up. Firing very quickly, obviously, because I'm on uh, double time speed. Oh no, single. 
I'll just fast forward even more, just a little bit. Sorry about this, guys. A glorious victory, right. sir. Yeah, back. So just going off the power to these guys. up again so I can show you the uh, results screen and there we go game set and match so there's this results screen I hope you've enjoyed as always um, more videos will be coming up soon see ya